Hi there, my name is Jocelyn and this is Tiny Ice, where I share bits from my trip to Antarctica in two minutes or less. South Pole as a polar trek educator to learn and work with the Ice Cube Laboratory. You can check out more information about both of them below. Before we embark on our tiny ice adventure, I thought the responsible thing to do would be to give you more information on who I am, why I went to Antarctica, why I'm so jazzed up about it, and why you will be too. So today we're talking all about the who, what, where, when, how, and why. Ready? Let's go. My name is Jocelyn Argetta. Nice to meet you again. I am a science educator and performer based in Southern California. Because of my stage show, Jardy the Science Girl, I was selected by Polar Trek to travel to Antarctica. Polar Trek is funded by the National Science Foundation and sends educators to the polar regions every year to participate in field research. The expedition I was assigned to is called Ice Cube Lab and the Iscarian Radio Ray of 2019. Both of these are big scientific projects that are physically located in Antarctica. I lived and worked at the Admonson Scott South Pole Station, which is right next to the geographical South Pole, exactly 90 degrees south. I was on ice for about five weeks, the majority of which was at the South Pole. I left mid-November and got back right before New Year. So I missed Thanksgiving and Christmas, but more on that later. The travel was definitely one of the most interesting parts of the trip, from what I had to pack to the types of planes that I was in. But the basic route was from the Los Angeles airport to Christchurch, New Zealand, to the coast of Antarctica, and then finally to the South Pole. This is the question I get asked the most. What was the whole point? Why did you go? The way I like to think about it is I went as a sponge. Polar Trek sends educators to soak up the life and science happening at these remote field stations so that we can come back and incorporate it into curriculum inside and outside of the classroom. So the whole point is to come back and share my experience so that kids, and adults can learn about all the amazing science that's happening there and the opportunities that are available to them if they want to pursue a career in STEM. And even if you're not interested in becoming a researcher, there is so much to learn about Antarctica that can give us a new perspective on the rest of the world. Okay, great. So now I feel like I've met my administrative duties and we can continue with all the details of all the fun things. This series is part of my outreach now that I can't host in-person sessions at the moment but I want this to function as close to an in-person session as possible. So if you have any questions, any burning curiosities about Antarctica, just leave a comment down below, send me an email or message on my social media. Also check the links down below to read a blog that I kept throughout my trip and also to see a live webinar that I hosted from the South Pole. Yes, there's internet there, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by for some tiny eyes. Stay tuned for more bits from Antarctica. <laughs>